What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some new leaked details regarding the villains of Thor Love and Thunder. But before we dive in, be sure to grab that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz on everything comic book movie related. Should you do just that, we'll qualify you for a special giveaway I'll be doing. So stay tuned to the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need I say more? Let's dive right in. For context, Thor Love and Thunder was one of the main highlights announced from the official Phase 4 slate revealed at the Marvel Studios Comic-Con panel last Saturday. With that, we got news that Jane Foster will in fact be the new female Thor in the film. This story is straight from the comic books, and there's quite a bit to look forward to as we move forward into the MCU. To begin, the first villain reported for the film will be the Enchantress. For those of you that are unaware, she grew up in Asgard and learned magic from the Queen of the Nords until she was eventually banished. This makes perfect sense because in the comics, the Enchantress was sent by Odin to kill Thor's love interest, who just so happens to be Jane Foster. The next villain reported is a relatively new villain as he first debuted in 2013. His origins are a bit saddening as his entire family was slaughtered. Due to that tragic event, he loses his faith in the gods and which his tribe banishes him for that matter. Gore later rekindles his belief in the gods while also harnessing the power of the Necrosword, which in the comic books is from the Celestials. This makes perfect sense because the Celestials will not only play a prominent role in the Elementals, but the entirety of Phase 4. Essentially, this is some very exciting details and production on the film is set to begin in Australia in August 2020. But what are your thoughts on these leaked details for Thor Love and Thunder and more importantly, what are your thoughts on the new villains for the film? Sound off with your thoughts down below. Now, let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the exclusive Avengers Endgame re-release poster. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.